Is 2024 the year that Texas finally turns blue? All that and more now on Graphs Grievances. Former NFL linebacker and current Democratic congressman Colin Allred announcing he will challenge Republican Senator Ted Cruz next year. Allred leaning into his sports background and saying he is running for the Senate because Texans deserve a senator who's on their team. Allred knocking Cruz for, quote, cheering on the mob during the Capitol attack and fleeing Texas for the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun during the historic 2021 winter storm and power grid failure that killed hundreds in the Lone Star State. But are Texans really ready to elect a Democrat to statewide office for the first time since 1994? Well, ever since former Democratic Congressman Beto O'Rourke came within just three points of defeating Senator Cruz in 2018, Democrats have made gains in Texas when up against former President Donald Trump and his MAGA acolytes. In 2020, Trump's six-point victory over now President Joe Biden in Texas was the smallest margin of victory for a Republican presidential nominee in the state since 1996. Plus, Allred has experience running against Trump sycophants like Cruz and winning. In 2018, Allred was first elected to Congress after defeating a Republican incumbent who had been in office since 1997 and chaired one of the most powerful committees in the House. And Allred, a former civil rights lawyer who worked in the Obama administration, has proven to be a prolific fundraiser. That skill will certainly be needed to win a Senate seat in Texas, which is both the second largest state by population and landmass. And while Cruz's campaign describes Allred as a, quote, far-left radical, the real radical is Rafael Edward Cruz. Cruz cheered on the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the constitutional right to an abortion, despite 58% of Texans saying they want abortion access to be expanded in their state. Cruz also voting against a bill last year to protect same-sex and interracial marriage. The legislation, nevertheless, passing the U.S. Senate with bipartisan support. And if that weren't enough, Cruz also voting against any new gun control legislation, despite almost 250 people in Texas having been killed in mass shootings since 2013, when Cruz was first elected to the Senate. And despite what you may think you know about gun culture in the South, Texans of all political stripes want stricter gun control laws. The latest University of Texas polling finding 76% of Texans support raising the legal age to purchase any firearm from 18 to 21 and 72% of Texans support red flag laws. Cruz has also repeatedly pushed to repeal Obamacare, which provides health care to almost 2.5 million Texans. It's no wonder that Cruz is so unpopular, with just 45% of Texans approving of his job performance. And then there is the glaring issue that Cruz doesn't even appear to want to be a U.S. senator. Three days a week, Cruz records an episode of his podcast, Verdict with Ted Cruz, in which he opines on the latest right-wing outrage. With some of his most recent hour-long episodes titled, quote, A Legal Alien Who Commits Mass Murder, Nine Biden Family Members Got Millions of Dollars from Communist China, and... Mob boss nephew involved in Biden family business deal with CCP. Yeah, you get the sense Cruz wants to be a host on F the Fox News channel and not a member of the greatest deliberative body tasked with passing legislation to address the needs of the American people.
Thanks for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think.